Yo, what's up guys, and Iron Sing came out today, and I actually showed you guys how to get Iron Sing, but uh, is Iron Sing worth going? So today, I'm going to be showing off all its mantras and all its talents in this video, so before we do that, please subscribe, as I really want 60k subscribers, and if you do subscribe, I'll mail you this puppy or kitty to your house. And yeah, let's get started with the Iron Sing progression. So we're going to start off with the zero star Iron Sing mantra. So, so the first Iron Sing mantra that I'm going to be showing off is a zero star mantra called Metal Eruption. It takes 45 ether, which is not that much. And here's what it does. All right. So basically it's pre nerf ice eruption from post uh, pre layer two. So I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. And let's go see what, what happens when we use it on a mob. So this is what happens when we use it on a mob. Nothing special happens, just like a regular mantra. But let's see what happens when we use it on a player. Alright guys, so uh, this is what happens when we use Metal Eruption on a player. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I thought he was going to get like sent back up, but how much damage did that do? 33%. Wait, what? That did... Okay guys, so he's, he's level 1 with 123 HP. So that did 33% to a level 1 freshie. Oops, I meant 156 HP. Not even 123. He has 156 HP and that did 33%. So yeah, that mantra is busted. Also guys, this is the thing that you train the element with looks like. It's called Feral Fluid. It has 100 uses and this is what the animation looks like. There we go. It's like a, it's like a squishy ball. Alright guys, so the next mantra that we have is Needle Barrage. It's a zero star mantra and it uses 20 ether. So let's see what happens when we use it. All right, so it's like a knife throw thing. So let's see what happens when we use it on a mob now. All right, so let's use it on these angels. Let's see if we can land it. Oh, we missed. Hold on, let me try again. All right, let's try again. Okay, I I, I can't hit it on mobs. All right, let's just try it on a player and let's see what happens. All right, now let's use Needle Barrage on uh, this level one freshie with 156 HP. All right, how much HP did that do? I'm at 86. Oh, and so I can pull 14. the rod. So when you get the needle barrages in opponent and you press X, you can like pull the rods towards you. So how much HP do you have? Uh, 156 and it did 14%. It did 14%. That's crazy. Hold on, let me see that again. So I hit you with the metal rods and then I pull on it and, and you come to me. Oh my God, this is like... This is like a, a a Yeti build or a Jedi or Jedi guys. Jedi. I don't watch. I don't watch Star Wars. All right, guys, and now this is our last zero star Iron Sing mantra, Metal Rampart, and let's see what it does. All right, so it costs 50 ether, and let's see. Wow, how long does this last for? Wait, is it just here permanently? What happens if I get off? Wait. So it only goes down if you get off. Hold on, let me try that again. All right, let me wait for a couple of seconds. Maybe, maybe it just went down when I got off. Okay, so yeah, it does go down after a certain bit. It's not when I got off. It was just um, it was off cooldown. And yeah, you can like glitch it to where you're not even on it. Wow, that's extreme. Wait, can I climb it? I can't. I can't even make it up when with like. Oh wait, I can. Oh yeah, that's. That's going to be really good for track star builds. Alright guys, and now for the one star Iron Sing mantras, we actually have a support mantra called Iron Skin. Coat your skin with metal to reduce harm. So, let's do this. And I can't move. I can't move that all during that, but I'm assuming if someone hits you during that, uh, damage is going to be heavily reduced. So, let's try it on a mob real quick. Alright, let's try on this guy. There we go. Uh... I can't really tell how much that's reduced by, but uh, let's try it on a player. All right, so let's test the damage reduction on level one iron skin. So hit me real quick. All right, so a normal M1 does 8% to me. Now when we heal the fool and we use iron skin and he M1s me, let's see how much it does. All right, M1 me. 1%? Wait, why is it lasting for so long? Wait, wait, does it last for how long the attack goes on for? All right. I want you to keep hitting me, okay? Just keep wailing on me. Wailing on me until your heart's desire. Wait. Okay, no. It, it just lasted longer for some reason. So it does 1% health to you. That is actually cracked. That is so cracked. All right, guys. Um, our next mantra is the... So there's only two one-star mantras. One's a support, one's a combat. Uh, now we have the combat, Metal Kick. 
So it takes 20 ether, and this is what it looks like. Alright, boom. It's literally a kick into the air and onto the ground. It's like that new Dawnwalker move, right? And this is what happens when you use it on an NPC. Alright, let's use it on him. Boom. It, it applies knock. Wait, it applies knockdown. Okay, that's like really good. So I can do this, and then I get a free M1 in after I use the mantra. The mantra allows you a free M1. Alright, so now let's try it on a player. Okay, so when I use this on you, after I use the mantra on you, I want you to try to block, parry, or dodge. Do anything to dodge my M1, okay? Alright, so let's use Metal Kick. Alright, there we go. And it's literally a free M1 if your sword is fast enough. That is crazy strong. How much damage in total did that do? A bar. It did a bar. Okay, now how exactly much- Exactly a bar. How much damage does Metal Kick do? Eh, 4%. Okay, 4%. Uh, it does 20 ether. Okay, but it's literally a freebie into an M1. It's actually crazy. Oh, wait, and he has a middle pull in him. So let's do this. And it just pulls him. It's actually cracked. All right, guys. So we have a new Iron Sing mantra. This is our first two-star Iron Sing mantra called Metal Rain. It uses 50 ether. And let's see what it looks like when we use it. So let's use it. And on my cursor, it brings down like a flurry of blades, as you guys saw. So uh, let's see what happens when we use it on a mob. All right, guys, so there's four mobs here. So uh, let's use it. Let's use it on literally any of them. Let's see if it does a hit. Wait, does this stun them? Oh, no, they can move during it. All right, guys, now let's test this mantra on a player. So I'm going to have him run around in circles. And let's see how much damage this does. All right, let's use it. There we go. And let's see. So he can move during it, which is kind of bad. And how much damage does that do? Uh, 10%. 10 per Wait, only 10%? Damn. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the worst mantra out of this entire attunement. Alright guys, let's go to the next mantra. Alright guys, so for the next two-star mantra we have is Metal Ball. This takes 40 ether, and now let's see what it does. Oh, oh my god. Wow. If you use this mantra to get away from someone, you are getting away from someone. What happens if you like ram it into someone, or what if you, if you ram it into a mob? Let's see. Alright, let's use it on these angels. Okay, so it hits them and stops. Okay, alright, let's go to the next mantra then. Alright guys, our next mantra is Metal Armament. It does 20, it has 20 ether cost, and let's see what it does, alright. Uh... Oh, wait. Wait, is that because of my sword? Wait, if I don't swing, nothing happens. When I swing... Wh Summon a blade of metal to swing alongside you. Why is that so good? Alright, let me see that on a mob and then we'll see it on a player. Alright, let's try it on this guy. So, boom. It's. Bro, if it does the same damage as your original swing, this might be the best monster in the game. Alright, let's test it on a player. Alright, guys, so let's see. L I'm actually so curious how much damage it's gonna do. So, how much damage does this do, right? 14%. So a normal swing does 14%. Now, let's see how much this swing does. Does it do the same? How much damage? Damn. 20%. Wait, that swing did 20% damage. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I'm using a star sword. So the mantra itself probably has its own damage. What I was hoping it was, I was hoping it would like replicate your M1 damage. So if you had like a Hive Lord Tuberus and it hit you, it'd do like this uh, damage of Hive Lord Tuberus. All right, guys. Our next mantra is called Firing Line. It costs 40 ether, and the description is create a firing line of meadow to light up your target. Let's see this. Oh, they they gave us a minigun. They gave us a minigun in Deep Oaken. Let me see that one more time. All right. You can, like, aim it around, too. Okay, let's see on a mob. All right, let's do it with him. Wait, it auto-aims. It, it auto-aims. It just aimed for his hitbox. That's crazy. And he died super fast. Okay, I definitely need to see see that on a player. All right, guys. Uh, let's test out firing line. So, uh, this is auto aim. I'm pretty sure. And oh my god. So how much damage did that do? Bro, that did a solid sixty percent. That did sixty percent. One on one, and I'm dead. One. Oh, hold on. Let me let me try it again. And it's auto. Damn. This mantra is cracked. This might be literally the best mantra. All right, guys. Uh, our final two star mantra. For the Satumit is called Cow Troops. And it takes 50 ether and sharp metal traps, it says. So when we use it, it's 
It's literally sharp metal traps. What happens if I step on it? Okay. So I'm assuming this is like Gale traps, but like multiple Gale traps. Let's see what happens when we have like a person step on all of them. All right. So I just want to see how much each individual trap does to someone. So just step on one trap and tell me how much damage it does. 10%. 10%? Alright, step on all of them. So 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. And now step on four more. So if it really does 10%, then step on those four. Oh, it does 10%. So since he has 156 health, that does 15.6 damage each hit, which is which is pretty which is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Can you parry it? Hold on, try parrying it. Ready? Alright, ready? Let's go. Okay, he can dodge it. Okay, it's not that broken. Oh, and he can parry it on the floor too. Okay. All right, guys, we're moving on to our first three-star mantra. There's actually two in this tombment. Uh, it's called Metal Gatling, and it's called a deadly rush of several metallic rods, 50 ether to use, and let's use it. All right. Wait, I can't cast it. Do I have to, like, hit it on someone? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I do. Ugh! What in the world? All right, let me go get my friend, and he'll tell you how much damage that did. All right. Let's see how much damage this uh, three-star monster does. All right, so he's 100% HP. Let's see how much HP are you? 73%. So that did 73% or you're 73% HP? 73% HP. Okay, so that did 27% damage. So so the firing line does more damage than that three-star mantra. And then he should be dead in one hit. Yeah. yeah. So, damn. So the metal Gatling is worse than the firing line. All right. Let's go check out the final, uh, the final three-star mantra. All right, guys, and now the last mantra that I'm gonna show off is called Iron Slam. Takes 40 ether to use, and let's see what it looks like. What was that? Hold on, let's see, let's see, used on like a mob. All right, let's use it on the Saiyan Knight. There we go. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to see that in like action. All right, guys, so uh, he's 100% HP. Now let's see how much HP this does. All right giant metal hammer to him how much hp did that do two bars two so 40 percent yeah that's crazy all right well that's all the mantras and now let's go on to the talents of iron sing all right guys and now let's take a look at the talents on this mantra so we're actually gonna go over all the talents so we firstly we have an iron singer's instinct successfully dodging attack coats you in metal and reduces your damage on the next attack taken all right so hit me once all right, so he does 8% to me on a single M1. Okay, and now when we get this talent active, okay, swing at me. Let's see. All right, hit me. Okay, so that went from 8% to 6%, which is not that big of a difference, but when dodging is a key mechanic in this game, it actually adds up a lot. Next talent we have is Exposed Durability. Deal 10% damage to opponents with no armor durability left, which... That is insanely busted, considering this doesn't mean deal 10% damage to opponents with Iron Sing mantras. This means in general, so M1s, mantras, uh, flame charm mantras, anything. And for our next talent, it's even more crazier. Phantom Edge. Your weapon M1s have 0.25 plus range. That is insanely busted. That is super busted. All right. Now for our next talent, we have Iron Clawed Punishment. Your Iron Sing mantras deal more posture damage to enemies the more armor durability they have, which uh, is basically everyone, so that's like a freebie. And then we have Thorn Mail, which Gang Flourish applies a metal rod on your attacker. So look at this, if we flourish him, there goes the metal rod. All right, and finally, Rending Needle, Impaler. If an enemy is affected by five or more metal rods, your Iron Sing pool instead pulls out all the rods for massive damage. So, let's see how much damage it does. Alright, how much HP are you right now? What percentage? 52. 52? Let's use this. How much HP now? Hey, 24%. 24%. So, that's 28% damage, which is like uh, 30 damage, basically, with his health accounted for. Which is actually very good. We also have intuitive repairs, which your iron skin repairs armor while it's active. So it's basically like iceberg but for armor. And we also have rending needle jailer. If an enemy has five or more rods, your iron sink pool will restrain them instead of pulling them. So it's probably just a stun or like singularity pool. So it's probably not that busted. And there's also some mantras that I couldn't get because they required level 13. But basically, one of them is basically the more rods someone has on them, the more damage they take, which is insanely busted. And there's also this really cracked out legendary talent where you only get it at 100 Iron Sing, 
but it reduces blood loss by 75%. No life king builds would go crazy with this. But yeah, uh, that's it for the showcase. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do, please subscribe. I'm so close to 60k and it would honestly mean a lot to me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for a puppy or kitty emails to your house. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye guys.